hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial from the file ICT Academy video library uh, in this tutorial video I will be answering the was ICT elective practical exam question that is question number one which is the Microsoft publisher I've answered question number two and number three which are my, the Microsoft Excel and also the Microsoft access you can check out those video too but in this one i'm going to focus on the question number one which is a microsoft publisher so let's look at the question <coughs> now here it says as the graphic designer in ink splash publishers company limited your line manager asks you to design a business card for the chief executive officer of a company with the following details so these are the details the details that are going to be on the business card uh, are already provided for you and the uh, follow-up question says using microsoft uh, publisher um, the information provided above generate the business card with appropriate design and text placeholders and then it also says insert a clip art for the company's logo use your full name as watermark in the document insert uh, date long format below the website address header with uh, it with your full name and also uh, you have footer with your date of birth so uh, then the last question says save document as call card in the folder created on your desktop so let's let's open microsoft publisher so that i can show you how to approach this so i'm going to show you two uh, different approaches of answering this practical question now you are asked to create a business card the size of a standard business card is 3.5 by 2 inches okay so if you come to publisher you can either create the business card from scratch or you can create the business card uh, using a template so both methods will work okay so uh, but if at all is an exam the best way is to um, use the templates because you do not have time so the best way is to start with a template and then modify the template so let's let's start with the from scratch so here as you can see we have uh, uh, different sizes here you see you have the a4 portrait and landscape you also have more blank page sizes so what I'm going to do, I can even start with an A4 size, it doesn't matter. If I start with an A4 size here, then from here I can go to page design, and then I go to page size. So when I click on page size, I can come to page setup. So within this page setup, as you can see, um, I can choose maybe one page paper. So here, as you can see, is in centimeters. but. Um, what if you if you understand uh, if, if you can convert 3.5 by 2 inches in centimeters you can simply just um, use centimeters but let's say for example you are more comfortable uh, working with inches maybe someone like me I like using inches in most cases when I'm designing so I can cancel this and go to the options um, and then uh, from from the file menu here I can go to options and then from options here i can go to advance and on the advance i just need to look for show measurement in units of so i can choose inches and i click ok ok so now if i go back to size and then click on page setup as you can see uh, now it is in inches if you see that double quotation means that the measurement now is in inches so let me choose uh, one page per sheet so I will put here 3.5 by uh, 2 inches okay so I can set the top and the, the margins to 0 if I want <coughs> can set the margins to 0 okay then I can now click OK so don't forget 3.5 by 2 inches for a standard business card so I'll click OK, then I have the exact size of a business card, 3.5 by 2 inches. Okay, now uh, with a blank um, business card, you have to um, use your own creativity to create a design. Now let's say for example, I can come to insert um, and maybe uh, use the shapes. Okay, create a shape here. 
as a background okay so as you can see it already has a color but i can change the color from here i can choose any color that i want okay if i want more co fill colors i can come here i can choose any of the standard or custom colors okay and uh, as you can see you can also change the stroke if i don't want this black stroke to appear i can just um, say no stroke and uh, i can add more extra interesting stuff let's say i add um, more design elements here let's say i can draw this i can say no fill um, for the outline i can rotate it okay can rotate place it there stretch it okay and uh, can change the color to whatever I want okay so if I want to add a text box I can add a text box by going to insert <coughs> and then draw a text box and then start typing my information now even if you look at uh, around this end in, on the insert you also have a portion where you have um, business information so you can start with some of these um, options here like for example if i click on address i will have the portion for address i can automatically have a text box for this okay anytime you see these red circles appearing know that the text does not fit so you just have to expand so if i want i can also reduce the size of this text if i want okay and uh, there is also options here for example the light spacing uh, the line spacing you can also come here and reduce the spacing of the line as you can see you can reduce or if you want you can go to line spacing options and uh, you have the ability to um, reduce the spacing here and then click ok you see then you can reduce the spacing so there's a lot of work if i told you're going to be doing this um, um manually so there's a lot of work that you need to do oh, so remember but you can always add text boxes you understand and do your stuff so um it it, it takes more time for you to be able to create a business card from scratch but I'm going to show you how you can, um, I'm going to create a new document and then show you how you can create a business card from a template. So first thing, um, we will go to the file, you go to file, you go to new, <coughs> and then you come to built in. So these are the built in templates. If you are online, you can download uh, templates from Microsoft Office, but most likely you'll be working offline. So you use the built-in template so from here you just look for business card so let's see where business card is okay here so i'll click on business card then from this position now i will have to choose um the template that i want to use so let's say i want to use this one studio so if i click on studio i'll just click on create then that business card will be created so all I have to do from here is to make sure that I make um, some changes. So let's say, for example, I can change the business name. So I'll go back. If you look at in the question, uh, the question paper gave you all the information that you need to input there. So I'm going to, um, I already typed the text. So I'm just, just to save time, I will just be copying and pasting. So I'll copy and paste the business name here. And uh, the name. So I'll paste that one here and then the title which is CEO okay and then you have the, the address okay so I'll come around this end here and then highlight this copy and paste okay then where I have the address, I will also copy here. So what I can do, I can just uh, copy and paste also. Okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, there's a lot more that you can do with this template. If at all you don't want the exact design, uh, remember uh, most of these items are grouped together. Okay. 
so if i drag this for example you realize that this one is an object of its own okay so uh, if i want to format it i can come to format auto shape and then i want to change the color to something different i can choose a different color for that so i'll be able to do that to any of these um, shapes that are here if i want to change the color as you can see so let's say i change this one to a darker green for example okay all right so there is some modifications obviously there is modifications that you can do okay so you take your time and then modify whatever you want to modify on the on the, on the business card so if you look at the question here the next question says you insert a clip art for the company's logo so if you do not have if the version of uh, microsoft office publisher that you're using doesn't have a clip art um you may have to replace that with something else because here you i i believe you must insert a clip art using maybe uh insert uh, online pictures in which uh, probably you may not be connected to the internet so uh, depending on the version because right now i'm using microsoft office 2019 so there is no clip art but i can replace this with uh the logo i can replace the logo with um maybe i'll just take a shape here and replace that with the logo here okay so you can also d d change the color if you want okay so let's look at the next question the next question says um use your full name as watermark in the document so uh, microsoft publisher also does not have um a watermark feature just like how you have watermark feature in uh, Microsoft Word so you have to do this manually <coughs> so what I'm going to do I'm going to apply the watermark uh, using the master page so I'll go to view and then go to master page so inside the master page here what I'm going to do I will be inserting a text box okay within this text box I'm going to type my name and then if I want I can also increase the size a bit and i will change the color maybe to gray okay okay is that actually gray uh, let me check for a different gray okay all right so from here i can if i want i can make the text i can rotate it to any how that i want uh, Okay, can increase the size again if I wish. Okay, so if I want to reduce the transparency also, I can come to the text here, the font color or the co scheme colors and then click on fill effects. So with the fill effects, I have the opportunity to work on the transparency of the text. Okay so let's say let me try what 83 can give me so if i click ok so you see the transparency is there okay so you can either rotate it or you can leave it horizontal or diagonal or whatsoever so i'm going to make so that my watermark is horizontal uh, sorry is diagonal okay so from here i will close i will go back to view and then um, go back to normal view okay so right now as you can see your watermark may not show because it is at the bottom here but the examiner will have to check whether you have added a watermark so now uh let's look at the other question the other question here says uh insert a long date below the website address so when we come to the website address here we can just press enter and uh, we go to insert and we look for date so what is a long date this is a long date okay saturday june 8 2024 so i'll click that and then click ok so i have a long date okay so we move to the next question the next question says um header with your full name okay header with your full name so i will go back to the view tab and then go back to master page then i will click on the show header and footer okay so i will zoom in a bit using the zoom controls and then it says in the header 
in the header as you can see in the header your full name and in the footer your date of birth so i'll put my full name within the header okay can even reduce the size um to maybe a seven or eight and i could copy the footer put my date of birth so i would say uh first me 19 so i'm gonna just put a fake date of birth here 1990 okay i can also reduce that to eight okay so i will go to view and then click normal okay so most likely your footer header or footer might show like that so you can also hide it if you want so that it will not disturb your design so if you go back to master page you can just maybe let's say i put this in the middle can put this in the middle okay and put this in the middle okay uh if i want yes i think that's fine let's see how that looks like so we go back to view go to normal view okay the usman is still showing so we go back to view master page uh yes we can just click there press enter a bit and then drag this so let's see okay now it's hidden so is the examiner has to now check go to your view and then go to master page and check whether you have applied the header and the footer and also the watermark okay good so now let's go to the next question here the next question says you save the document as call card in the folder on your desktop so i'll go to file go to save as go to browse and then go to the folder on the desktop open it and call this call card okay and then i click save all right so that's uh, all i have for you in this tutorial uh thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and also check the other two videos that i created for microsoft um, excel and microsoft access okay so that um, you can know or understand how you can approach these kinds of questions when they come into the exam thank you and see you next time